All right, let's get back to the floor plans a little bit. Uh, first of all, we need to get rid of these lines which are showing. So I'm going to select polyline, control A to select all those polylines because they were using as aiding lines. Now we can get rid of them. We don't need them any longer. If I select line, I can see there are still more lines in here so I can delete them. Let's get to the ground floor as well and clean it up. Uh, control A to select all those lines and delete them. And as well, Control A to select all polylines. I think those we already deleted them. And of course, we have some lines here which show the mesh, but we are going to deal with that later in the course about layers. But for now, let's go to the terrace because we want to create a, a better uh, roof representation. So if I select this, you can see that here is supposed to be a roof and this would be a terrible way to to show it so we want to go to settings and actually enable what we call a uh, cover fill uh, once you scroll down under floor plan and section you enable cover fill and the defaults are fine so once we say okay you can see that now we get a better representation so we have a better plan that is showing the janitor's section and the stair that leads to this terrace and plus this roof and of course we want the same thing for the roof plan so when we go up you can see that we are seeing a lot of stuff here, but uh, we are not supposed to see all that stuff. So we can just enable the cover fill. Remember, we had turned it off because we wanted to see the things clearly. But now we can turn it back on and now we have a better plan. Right. So if I remove the tracing plane, you can see that we have just this as the roof plan. And as well, if I go to the terrace, you can see we have just this. Uh, so what I want to do is to actually create a better roof plan and the way to achieve that is to actually show even these other elements on that roof plan uh, instead of just having this because that would not be that useful. So I think we should uh, do something here. So let's go to the terrace and just select these roofs and tell them to show up on the first on the on the two roof plan. So let's go once we go to the settings we can actually decide that in floor plan display this is going to show on home story plus a story above okay so once we select that and say okay now we have ourselves a roof plan which has this roof and has those two roofs pretty cool and then we do the same for the, this other one which is this uh, kind of thing happening and let's say and this rating of course we can't do two different elements at the same time so first of all we can enable this rating to show by saying a home story and one story above and then make sure that as well this uh, slab it's selected and we show it both on home story and one story above okay so now we should have the a roof plan which is a bit more comp comprehensive now i haven't tried this but let me see what if we selected this as well this zone as well let's see if it can actually show because i'm thinking will it be able to show okay let's go uh, settings it actually doesn't have a floor plan display which you know allows you to, to to show it both below and above so for that we may need to do it in a different approach for example we can get a fill which fill is going to be you see we don't have any uh, of those elements so we may need to change this to drafting such that we have a few more options here presented to us and i think the grid that we did choose was about uh, 25 by 25 and we need to choose a lighter color and then we can go ahead and do that in order to have that as the representation for a terrace and for the first time we are going to need the 
text tool because here we do not need you know those additional information about the square area because that belongs to the terrace so we can go ahead and name this let's say tell people this is a terrace and then we have uh, the rest as roofs okay and uh, as well we may need to to know how high this is such that there's no confusion so let's make sure that we go we have something here called level dimensioning and you can see it looks like what we already looked at before so that's the the one we chose before so we will stick to it and then we will uh put let's place it and see what it looks like it's a little bit too big so we can make half of it or even like i don't know 1.5 and then also the text should be smaller okay something like that just to show the level uh the dimension there i will pick it and have it also here to indicate the level to be at six meters because you can see that on the ground floor we have zero here we have three meters and then here we have six meters i think if we go to the story settings that's what should be the case so we have three meters and then we have six meters on the terrace okay so this is absolutely fine and that actually means that on the first floor we need to change these uh, zones these zones are not actually capturing the height so if we select all zones i see they're they're still at zero and yet on the first floor they should be at three meters why are they still at zero well i think it's because it's not automatic so we might need to go to settings and change the finishes and heights to make it three meters actually yeah because that's the truth uh, we need to have three meters height for all of these spaces and on the terrace is where we get also six meters so let's select all of them and go to settings and in the settings we need to make these plus six meters okay so let's go here in the drop down look for finishes and heights and sneak in a six meter somewhere here because it's a custom text that you add okay uh that's way better it's much more representative of what that height is let's see but you know this level dimension actually captures it because it's um uh, does it well it does a much better job all right so let's see that that was uh good insights now let's go to the terrace and we have to mention this because uh, the rest are dimensioned but these ones are not so in order to do that we have already seen how to dimension but we will do it again such that you know you get to remember so once we say ctrl a you can see all walls have been selected but we want to be able to get rid of this because these are not needed in while dimensioning this floor plan because they are under the roof so hold down shift to deselect and i have deselected an essential wall so let's deselect only those i think i should zoom in in order to capture this wall okay now that is what we want to dimension and we went to document and say it annotations and then we went for automatic dimensioning and then we have exterior dimensioning so we have these elements in here and then as well the thickness of this so let's say okay come in and place in uh click on one of the sides and click on the outside and now we should have all these elements all around although i think i may need to have uh, these dimensions uh, changed up a little bit first of all they look way too small i think uh yeah they are much much smaller so if i select one of these dimensions we have them as two two size a size two and that should be the case on this side uh, so let me go here and select all dimensions so those dimensions have been selected when i press ctrl a 
but we need them to be at two size okay that's much better and as well we need to be able to make them opaque because currently you can't you can't see them once they are drawn on top of the roof uh, fixture so if we click on opaque we should have them uh, um, uh, highlighted but of course it has added a a black layer so we want to go back and make sure it's the background color that's been uh, selected such that you know now we can read them they are more much more legible all right so that is necessary for these dimensions because i intend to have some of these dimensions closer to the wall okay that makes much more sense and these ones they're still fine because they're going to be white uh, they're going to be to have the background color nevertheless and then we can go in and also have this closer i think this is still okay uh, but these ones these two need to come closer to this wall so they are not mistaken and we can take advantage of what is happening in this area uh, for example all right so this is going to be uh, a geometrical dimension so we can add this point by control clicking control click this other point in order to add it within this dimension and then this should be the overall dimension okay and actually you know what we need one dimension for these uh, grid lines okay so we will make a copy of this and have this as the overall so control click on these external parts and then we get rid of these two nodes in order to have an overall dimension but then as well we need to capture these uh spaces these uh nodes and get rid of what is already there so we have uh those grid lines captured and this this dimension string should also show up somewhere on the opposite side because it's also the same thing so we need to replace it with this one and um, actually not replace it because it's supposed to just uh be here and then that one that overall dimension is supposed to be afterward here to capture the entire the entire region and then we get rid of this and that and of course we need this dimension string <clears throat> to capture for us the forms so it shows you the distance before you approach this form and the distance after that okay and as well part of this dimension uh we may add this section just so that we give perspective so that it's not hard to locate this stuff and as well we may need to add some of this uh dimension to this as well all right so now we have ourselves that and we have to do the same for the opposite sides okay so i'll go ahead and do the same thing throughout so i'll speed that up for you And that is much more like a better treasure terrace plan. And that will prompt us to do the same for the first floor. So I think on this floor plan, it's a little easier because we have just the overall, I guess. We have the overall here, making sure that the dimension is quite right. This should be two, okay? Two, actually, all right and then we need to capture these forms okay and then the final dimension is just the outside okay 
and I'll do that even this other side. And I think this would be very useful. So let's uh, make this a little thicker because this needs to pop out a little bit. So let's see what that looks like. So we can see that by default we have, if we go to the floor plan and section, the uncut line is by default uh, 0.13. So let's make it a little thicker, maybe 0.18. Okay, such that there's a difference between this one and the rest of these okay so it may not be quite obvious but if i turn on these you can see that this is a little bit different but of course we want to do it for this uh, feel as well so instead of just having it on the on the external let's have it also on the feel right to have something like so which should clearly make a difference between this and that and that will be uh, seen in the print okay so you can already feel that this is much closer than the rest of these elements so there you have it you have your roof plan and as well we could highlight where the water is going if you if that's what you're into you could indicate that the water is going to wash away to this other side so let's put in here uh, an arrow and I think it's going to be facing this other side let's make it way visible and I will choose a thick one like so so let me try to multiply that spread it by one meter so I hit ctrl u to get this menu so that I'm able to multiply that let's do that again Control u and i have created those so we can just you know make a communication on to where that water is gonna be so Control shift m to mirror that and if you were into it also you can indicate where this water is going because if i go to the first floor we have a washroom in this area so we could drain from the roof through a corner there so what if we got an object that is going to have a full borer or a flow drain i think it's called a flow drain okay yeah something like a full borer but we just wanted to do representation so that will do so we can have water run off to that such that in case this this flow is being prepared it is being prepared with that slope in mind i think i may need to increase this a little bit yeah that's more like it and we can make this light such that it's not so much into your face maybe that okay ctrl shift uh, m to mirror and then i have that so we have that water that is being collected in that pot okay and uh, that's it for this video i'll see you the next one